the edge with April Mahoney brains. Here, this is the place where the conversation is pointed, the guests are sharp, and the responses are never dull. <laughs> Welcome home, brains. Coming to you straight from San Diego, California. Let's welcome our host, April Mahoney. Ever impacted. Hi, Brains. I'm glad to be here. My name is Janae Elliott Bennett, and I am the owner of Elliott Exquisite Vacations, where I make your vacation dreams come true. Um, I am the owner franchise owner of Elliot Exquisite Vacations, a division of Dream Vacations. Um, like I said, I make your um, vacation dreams come true. I do everything from start to finish, um, from booking your vacation from the time you we talk on the phone all the way to the time you come home. I do not leave you. So once you're done, once you're paid for and whatnot, you think I'm done with you? Nah, I'm still with you. Even when you're on vacation, you can reach me 24-7. Instead of trying to reach an automated person or can't get someone on the phone, you can get me. I'm there. I'm with you. That's what I do. This thing, <laughs> this virus is going on that has affected not only the travel business, it's affected everyone, but it has affected travel a great deal to where travel has now been grounded. And it is hurting travelers as well as travel professionals. And hopefully, and fingers are crossed, tongue and cheek, eyes crossed, legs crossed, everything, that we come back up very soon. You know, and um, we're hoping again, to come back up very soon. We have, uh, you know, Zoom brains is not stable right now because everybody and their grandmother is on it. So we're waiting for our guests. Don't worry about that. Somebody's popping in and out. It's always a party here on the edge because we're at the podcast potluck. I forgot to tell you that. That's where we stir it up and mix it up. But uh, Sherry, I mean, Janine, I'm looking at you. Be uh, here. You there, baby? I'm trying to get in. Not okay. working. No, you good. Just hang on in there for a minute. It's kind of unstable. Oh, okay. Okay. But anyway, um, this is crazy because people are going to have to travel. So it's going to come back. Yes. It's going to come back maybe with a vengeance. But right That's now. That's good. And I'm ready. And you know what I asked my husband too? I said, what about the bus? I was, you know, there's no. not, not too far. There's no public transportation. The no. trolleys, the trains. No, even Ubers and taxis and Lyft, they all shut down because they're too close. Wow. This, it, it, people are in your space. It is just too close. So now how does this really impact your um your, your industry. I mean, I know in so many ways because people aren't traveling, you know, do uh, travel agents still get some sort of perks and consignments from the clients that they sign up? I, I don't know how that works. No, with this, it has impacted us in the most horrific way. When this happened, you had people, our travelers, our clients scared to where they were calling and canceling their vacations. Mm -hmm. Left and right. I had a client um, their vacation is not until October. They got so scared and spooked, they canceled already. Yeah. It's done. It's not good. It, they don't want to go. They're, it just spooked them. It spooked a lot of people. It scared a lot of people. There was, within one week, the first week of all this, there was so many cancellations. And I mean, left and right. I'm, and not it, just, it hurts us. And as far as money, it's Sherry Blair. Sherry Blair is coming from Sherry Blair Financial. She is a financial planner. And we're going to ask her some questions, you know. And again, uh, I'm going to put a disclaimer at the end because she's got a big responsibility and nobody knows where the market is going to go. I want to ask her questions in general so that we can have an idea of what we can look forward to uh, and uh, just really how to stabilize things. So, Sherry. Please tell my brains uh, what in the world is going on with the market right now. I'd like to know what's go I'd like to know what's going on. <laughs> <laughs> I can't, I think I might be able to see you now. I don't know. We'll, we're popping in something here. Brains, I'd like to introduce you to our next guest up on the edge to the podcast. Potluck is Sherry Blair of Sherry Blair Financial Services. 
She is here in San Diego. She does some incredible work. And we want to ask her, what in the world is going on with the finances? You know, I just, for some reason, saw them get $2 trillion. <laughs> and I'm trying to get 2500 you know? So I'm trying to see what the impact is going to be. Then our other guest here, uh, Janine, I want Sherry to chime in and tell us a little bit about how are we going to recover in the travel industry because people are going to have to move. You know, we can only do this virtual stuff for so long. So, you know, when we bail out big companies like that, who pays the price tag? And give us some other great uh, encouraging thoughts on how we can strategize to get through this and the corona, Sherry. <laughs> well, you know, how many times have we heard that these are unprecedented times? Mm -hmm. um, it's like, you know, it's, I mean, I heard someone say the other day uh, um, in the industry that was saying at financial uh, management, investment bankers saying, it feels like the, the world is having a heart attack, yeah. <laughs> um, which sounds terrible. But, you know, this, this has been, I think, in my lifetime, and I've been doing this for, let's say, over 25 years. Um, Girl, you must have started when you was 12. No. <laughs> <laughs> not hardly not hardly anyway i've never you know we've been through recessions we've been through you know uh difficult periods uh times that are volatile the markets you know when there's volatility in the market but i've never seen anything hit like this has hit uh all of us the coronavirus virus uh covid19 it's just it's what's so difficult I think for those of us in the, you know, that are dealing with the markets and, and money and have our clients invested in the market um, is that things are happening so rapidly, so oh. rapidly. In other words, even in the Great Recession back in 08, if you remember, everybody thought, you know, that was the worst since the Depression. And, you know, if you remember, there was like a trajectory that was, I would say, was angling up and going up, this is like this. I mean, in far, as far as, you know, I mean, you know, the mark was up and then all of a sudden we're coming down like this, that quickly. Those and, guys. Yeah, and it's, it's devastating, it's devastating. I mean, it's, and you know what? The bottom line is that we have to take care of our health. I mean, if, if, if we don't stop this, if we don't stop the spread of this and, and go the other way, and I know we will, that's the bottom line. So, you know, that's, that's why they gave us, you say, what are they, they're getting over $2 trillion or... Right, 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 right. But, you know, think about it, okay? Um, and, and, and I understand what you're saying, but, you know, and this is not to give anybody a hard time, but the reality is, is that the dollar is not backed by anything, okay, but by a, a printing press. And so we have to be very careful about that. Again, you know, $2 trillion? That's a whole lot of money, and that's a whole it is. That's a whole lot of impact. And never, where did it come from? Where do you think it comes from? It's going to come from the taxpayers. Mm. And who, you know, where does the, where does the majority of the taxes? Who pays the majority of the taxes, other than the top ten percent pay? But we know they don't pay their share. But most of the taxes come from the middle class, don't they? Uh, so obviously, this is going to come from us eventually. But the point is, whether okay, whether there is a, a lot of things about the bill that weren't maybe necessarily fair for the majority, things had to be done. Just like if you remember in 08 and 09 when Obama came in and he took it over from Bush, and you know things had to be done. And there was a lot of people that complained. There was a lot of complaining that went on. Said. Such and such is not fair. Such and such is not fair. But at some point, you have you have to step in and and stop the bleeding, right? We have to stop. No, and bleeding. I get that. And I get that. You know. And again, I have no complaints because if we paid our taxes, then this is time to you know give us a little extra back, give us back in right. the time of crisis. Right. I'm all on board with that. But I'm just really kind of trying to figure out where it came from. Anyway, that's neither here nor there. Let's talk about something. Okay, first of all, you know, yeah. I mean, it, I mean, if they need to print, uh, print more money, they'll print more money, obviously. But that, you know, that's, yeah. I mean, I, I 
I wouldn't be concerned about that right now. I'd be concerned about making sure that folks are getting, you know, that we're doing everything we can to stop the virus, right? And then uh, after that, we've got to take care of, we've got to put money in people's pockets. And is 1,200 enough for us individually or 2,400 a couple? Absolutely not, but we have to start. <laughs> start somewhere. All right, yeah. all right, okay. Yeah, start all right. somewhere. Uh, I'm ready to start. But in okay, there we go. All right, now, let's start something else. Let's talk about when things do um, stabilize, okay? Uh, and there is an opportunity to invest in new funds. There is the Calvert Fund. Tell us a little bit about that. I like that fund. Well, there are funds, so there's more than one, right? There's a family of funds, and they're called, and, and it, you're right, it's Calvert Funds. So what is Calvert Funds? Um, it's what they call ESG investing. So that's environmental, uh, environmental, uh, sustainable, and governance. You know what that, I mean, we've talked a lot about that, right? And most folks know what that is. So it, it would be taking care of our, our water, our air, environmentally. Uh, so companies that are conscious about making sure that we're moving in a direction to do everything we can to help the environment. Uh, to make sure it's sustainable, uh, to put, um, to invest in companies that are, that support that and that are doing everything that they can instead of hurting the environment, but helping the environment and supporting those people in the community to help, you know, to bring, bring all of that up. And so, Brains, there's uh, three categories of people that normally invest, and I like the two in this Calvert Fund. One is millennials, and number two is the very rich. <laughs> <laughs> I love that. I mean, I love that you remember that. Okay, I love now, you remember that. Let me, I'm a brain, okay? I'm not going to sit there in your class and not pay attention. I'm going to suck it up <laughs> like a straw. Okay, so we, we bail out companies like this, I, and I'm just trying to get a general... Uh, understanding of this so the airlines or the cruise industry sharing right. and we pour money back in to get them back you know uh moving again do you see that it takes a long time for these companies to rebound or you know again, this is unprecedented so i don't know what right you right think about when we bail out big companies like that how does that impact okay that how does that impact us as a as, as an investor. As an investor. Well, I'll tell you what, let me just, I want to turn this volume up a little bit. Um, I'll tell you what, I mean, when you, as you know, just, I mean, just like all of us, when you buy, when you buy low and it goes high, that's, you know, that's how you're going to, you're going to reap the profits from that. Uh, exactly. um, but, but, or, however, what's important to, what's important, for instance, like hotels and, well, any restaurant, obviously we know restaurants, hotels, theaters, they're going to do everything they can to try to get people to come back in, right? Mm -hmm. And I can see them giving all sorts of offers or, or you know, mm -hmm. making right, right, right. So, but I just didn't, I didn't know if this was, I mean, if they don't think this is too soon to put numbers behind it, but if they do, I think that's, I mean, I think it's great. I think it's wonderful. Okay, I have clients and I don't, they don't feel it's too soon. Well, my clients don't because they want to get in their mind with the pricing. It's not probably going to be the exact pricing. It's going to change between oh, now and when it comes wondering. back up. But they need to have some form of figures. Right. Okay. So they know what to work with, mm -hmm. which is good because they're planning ahead. And I like that. Let me ask and you I can also put together a package for them now. I can put together a package for them now and lock them in and they can start making payments towards it. Right. Yeah. Well, hang on one second, Janine, because I want to ask uh, Sherry another very important before we conclude our uh, time together today. Sherry, uh, there was some news that came out about uh, individuals might be able to draw down from their IRA accounts uh, without penalty or extension on that penalty. Do you have any information on that? Well, that's correct. That's part of this, uh, what they call it, uh, the Relief and Economic uh, Security Act for the COVID-19 um, coronavirus. So yes, um, as a planner, 
what we tell our clients is, you know, when situations occur and you, you know, financially you're strapped or you don't have the funds to do things that you either, um, that you have to do. And, you know, as a last resort, um, you can, you know, they say, that's why you try to have an emergency fund and so yada, yada, yada set up. And then, you know, you take from there or you can even use credit. Credit, a lot of, a lot of us don't like to have to, but sometimes we need to. And I saw a lot of folks doing that in, in 08, 09, or 10, um, or 2010. So the, uh, another thing that they, you can do now that they hadn't, they didn't do, um, bring this about that back then, but that is, if you have a 401k or an IRA, some kind of a defined um, benefit plan that you're not gonna access to or the intentions to access it when you retire, you are allowed to take out or borrow, if you will, up to a up to a hundred thousand wow. dollars, which is a lot of money, um, or that plus twenty five hundred. <laughs> what? What'd you say? I said that plus your government issued a twenty five hundred. <laughs> oh, yeah, there you go. But no, the, yeah, really. But let's let's just say let's just say someone has only eighty or ninety thousand, but they're really strapped. They're so strapped that they just can't. They're not going to because you know what the you know, don't hold your breath. It's yeah. going to happen. It but, is going to okay, happen. But when you, are you penalized when you take it out? I know normally on a, no. not on a Roth no. IRA, but on a regular yeah. Roth IRA. So you would yeah. have some time to pay it back before you would have no, to the, the way the way that the way it's been structured is that you can take it out and you have up to three years to either A, put the money back or B, actually, um, pay the taxes on it. So in other words, if you take out $100,000 and you're in an in a income, your uh, tax bracket is 20%, that's ordinary income. Oh, okay. You're gonna be, I mean, you're gonna be taxed, because that that's like, income. you just you just put $100,000 more in your, in your income that year. Well, yeah. maybe you didn't have any income, so it's like, or very little. So, you know, uh, then you add that 100,000 to it. So you're gonna be taxed and, and but you can, Pay the tax over three years, okay? Or you can obviously have three years to put it back. So right. that that's that's a very nice perk. Really sure. Okay, so brains, just to recap, okay? I, I really, uh, you know, so much information. They're gonna have to come back and we're gonna have to continue to talk. But for the most part, you know, investments are just that. They are investments. And me speaking, if you can, right. write it out long-term. You know, you're going to avoid a lot of trouble. Mm -hmm. The market is going to fluctuate exactly. up and down. So if you can hang in there, hang in there. You've got great people like Sherry Blair and Sherry Blair Financial Services to really kind of get you over the hump and guide you and navigate you. We're not magicians. I'm a podcaster. This is a travel consultant, and she's a financial planner, okay? So you got to run the risk, but take a chance, okay? And uh, okay. if you are you have to pull down money, you know, stuff happens. What I you got to do but pay your taxes because they will get you <laughs> and they yes. will find you. Okay. Yes. So pay your taxes on it. But if you got to use the money and it comes down to your family have to eat or a roof over your head, I got you. I yeah, got do you. What you got to do. That's after, right. And then after all this settles down and you rebound and make some money, get what you need, book your next business trip, book your next you. cruise, book, book your next, uh, you know, staycation. It could be a hotel right there in your city. We got That's right. We That's have got to recycle this money because it's different. Like we got to recycle this air. We're going to be all right. Janine, please tell my guests how to, uh, my brains, how to get in contact with you. You can email me at jbennett at dreamvacations.com. You can find me all over the web. You can find me on Facebook at Elliot Exquisite Vacations. That's my business page. You can find me at Janine Elliot Bennett. Facebook, you can find me on Twitter. LinkedIn, Instagram, or you can call me at area code 909-990-1124. Yikes, did you get that, Brains? Sherry Blair, you know, uh, it, getting with you is just a little bit more complicated because you got to put on your thinking cap, okay? You got to be I'm going to make it easier, easy for the viewers today. So, <laughs> Brains, uh, why don't y'all call them Brains, y'all? You know how they feel about that. <laughs> okay, the brains. I'm going to make it easier for the brains today, right? So, um, 
I'm going to give my cell number because I know these times are, you know, so trying that I've had people, you know, I've had so many of my clients and other folks call, that I've been talking to over the last several weeks. So you can reach me. Um, my cell is 619-997-0416. That's 619-997-0416. My office line is 858-935-7808. 858 858- 9357808 and I'm on the I'm on I have uh, on the web as well and I'm Facebook and it's under Sherry Blair Financial Services or C Blair at finance C, C Blair at CB, I have to say it, cbfinancialservices.org See when you a boss you got all that behind you okay yeah. <laughs> Plus some letters okay so thank you ladies so much for being here on the edge you know brains I try to give you a splattering and a sprinkling of a lot of information go in and do your own research exactly. uh, go in and work yeah. with individuals one on one and you know exactly. be mindful be prayerful be respectful and we're going to get through this on the other side and make some money and go on a trip I yeah. love it, There you go <laughs> Ha, 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 ha.